today we're going to be taking a look at my current Black Falcon army because soon enough I'm going to be starting a Black Falcon modular series. So this video will be kind of like a pilot or prologue to that series which I will be starting sometime in August. I have 17 of the new Black Falcon figs that came out in 2021. I also have 7 of the CMF Falconer figs that came out earlier this year. And finally I have 12 of the beautiful Red Falcon figs that came out in 2022. So to start off let's take a look at my King and Queen of the Falcons. My Black Falcon King uses the falconer torso and legs with a pair of black arms with dark brown gloves. I really love how this fig looks, but I wish LEGO would make the crown slash hair mold in a dark tan hair color to match this character. The queen uses the torso and skirt from a fantasy era queen that came in the drawbridge defense set. I have switched out her hair and face print though. I really love how this fig looks and I think it makes her a fantastic black falcon queen. Next, let's take a look at the two royal guards who don pearl dark gray shoulder armor and halberds. Moving on to the high-ranking army officials, here are my three military leaders, two of which you will recognize from the medieval blacksmith set, and the other one is one of the first custom figs that I made after getting back into castle in early 2022. He has a massive hammer that I believe came from a hobbit dwarf figure. Moving on to the more standard knights, I have six black falcon knights that wear pearl dark gray helmets. I plan on probably getting another six of these to populate the upcoming castle. Then we have two men at arms with black nasal guard helmets. These guys came from the lion knight's castle. And then finally, I have my lonely cavalry man who also came from the Lion Knight's castle. Now I'd like to move over to the Red Falcons because this is probably my favorite part of the army, I'd want to say. First I have my leader of the Red Falcons and his sister who is also his squire. I really love how these two turned out and they both have dark red capes to match the Red Falcon color scheme. In the lore for my medieval setup, the Red Falcons are a cadet branch of the Black Falcon royal family. The story goes that many generations ago, a youngest brother of the Black Falcon King defended their lands from an attack and was granted a castle in the far south of the kingdom for his service. So many years later, the current head of the house who we see here is getting uncomfortable with the way the king is running things and is considering breaking off and forming his own kingdom. Anyways, if you're interested in seeing a video of the lore for my medieval setup, I would love to make a video of it, just let me know in the comments. Back to the minifigures, let's now take a look at my Red Falcon Knights. You'll notice that I use a flat silver armor instead of the pearl dark gray and black that I use for the other Black Falcons. This is because I think it suits the Red Falcons a lot more than pearl dark gray does. I really love how it complements their arms and torsos. The only thing I'm not crazy about these guys is the legs. I feel like there are definitely better options for them, but I haven't really looked into it much yet. Any leg suggestions for these guys would be more than welcome. I almost forgot, here are my three Black Falcon archers that use hoods and the new dark tan bow piece that came out in the CMF. I should probably make a few more of these guys to be honest, but I just haven't done that yet. Finally, the last six figures are my Black Falcon nobles, or members of the Black Falcon court, however you want to look at it. For these guys, I wanted to swap their arms for black so that they match the king figure. The idea for these figs is for them to be kind of advisors to the king and queen. I also really tried to make them all have very distinct looks and personalities to them. I think they came out pretty nice. I like, I like how these guys look a lot. Finally, since this is essentially a preview to the Black Falcon modular series that I'm going to be making, let's take a quick look at the first wall for the castle that I built. It's a little larger than the 3-in-1 castle and uses some simple but effective techniques. I still need to order a bunch of masonry bricks and ingot pieces for the walls, but I think this is a decent start to my first ever castle mock. If you have any suggestions or critiques for the design, I would love to hear them because I'm still very early in the planning stages for this mock, and things will definitely be changing throughout the process. I'm going to be leaving for a week the day this video goes live, so next weekend there won't be a new video, but after I get back I've got a few longer videos planned and a lot of discussion videos. Thank you so much to everyone that's been watching these videos and leaving comments. We are at 633 subscribers as I write this script, and I couldn't be more thankful for all the support and wonderful comments that I've gotten. Thank you so much for watching.